Welcome to N1 Electrical Trade Theory. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at part five of module four, which makes up 30% of the final curriculum. And this is all about cells and batteries. What is the function of a cell or battery? It is to convert chemical energy into electrical energy. What is the difference between a primary and secondary cell? Well, secondary cells, the chemical reaction is reversible and can be recharged. Primary cells, the chemical reaction is not reversible and cannot be recharged. The different types of batteries we find in practice. For primary cells, we get the dry Lelange battery, the alkaline battery, primary lithium batteries, and silver oxide batteries, and the zinc air battery. For secondary cells, we get rechargeable alkaline batteries, nickel cadmium batteries, nickel metal hydrid batteries, and the most popular is lithium iron batteries, which are used for cell phones and laptops. What are some of the factors to consider when selecting a cell or battery, whether it's primary or secondary? the cost, the size of the battery, the life cycle, and the availability of the battery. When looking at cells connected in series, what we find is to calculate the total EMF of the battery, we will add up the internal EMF for each cell. The total internal resistance is the sum of all the internal resistances. And to calculate the total current flowing, it is calculated with the following formula. The supply current is equal to the total EMF divided by the total resistance, which is the sum of the external resistor and the total internal resistance. In this example, we have four cells connected in series. Each cell has an internal resistance of 0, 0,1 ohms and an EMF of 1,5 volts. This circuit is connected across an external load of 20 ohms. To calculate the total EMF for cells in series, that will be E1 plus E2 plus E3 plus E4. And that gives us a total EMF of the battery of 6 volts. To calculate the internal resistance, it is the sum of the internal resistance for each cell. Therefore, the total internal resistance is 0, 0,4 ohms. To calculate the total resistance of the circuit, we have to factor in the external load resistance of 20 ohms. Therefore, 20 ohms plus the total internal resistance of 0, 0,4. Therefore, the total resistance of the whole circuit is 20,04 ohms. To calculate the supply current throughout the circuit, it will be the total EMF divided by the total resistance. The total EMF is 6 volts. And the total resistance, which is the sum of the external resistance and the sum of the total internal resistance. Therefore, the supply current is 0, 0,294 amps. To calculate the volt drop across the battery, in other words, the original voltage of the battery is 6 volts. And we want to determine how much the voltage will drop by when the circuit is closed. So the supply current through the battery is 0, 0,294 amps, and the sum of the internal resistance is 0, 0,4 ohms. Therefore, the volt drop across the battery is 0, 0,118 volts. Now, to calculate the potential difference across the external load of the 20 ohm resistor, it'll be the supply current multiplied by the value of the external resistor. Therefore, the potential difference across the load is 5,88 volts. So as we can see, the original voltage across the battery is 6 volts, and the volt drop is 0, 0,118, and the potential difference across the external load is 5,88. Now, when dealing with cells in parallel, here we have this circuit diagram and a pictorial diagram of cells connected in parallel. Now for cells in parallel, the total EMF is equal to the EMF across each cell. The total internal resistance, we can either use that formula, the first one, which is one over RT, or we can say 
because each cell is exactly identical, to calculate the internal resistance for cells in parallel, it'll be the value of the internal resistance divided by the number of cells. And that makes it a little bit easier to calculate. Here we have an example. We have three cells connected in parallel. Each cell has an internal resistance of 0, 0,2 ohms. And the EMF for each cell is 1,8 volts. There is an external load resistance of 5 ohms. To calculate the total internal resistance, it is the value of the internal resistance divided by the number of cells. Therefore, the total internal resistance is 0, 0,0. 6, 7 ohms. The total EMF, because it's cells in parallel, the total EMF is the same as the EMF for each cell. Therefore, the total EMF is 1,8 volts. To calculate the current throughout the external resistor, the total EMF divided by the total resistance. The total resistance is the sum of the external resistor and the total of the internal resistance. Therefore, the current throughout the circuit is 0, 0,355 amps. Now, to determine the current supplied by each cell, now remember that each cell is identical, therefore the current through each branch will be exactly the same. So therefore, the total current is 0, 0,355 amps divided by the number of cells, which is three, Therefore, the current flowing through each cell is 0, 0,188 amps. Thanks very much for watching part five of module four. Don't forget to smash that like button and to share these videos.